place in the garden where we could lock ourselves away from the we got a very pretty acoustic session from new local act Kat Malosian. I heard John screaming one day, so I mentioned, how about you go up and sing? Then you hear a high-pitched yelp or something like that. Dogs love it. <laughs> <laughs> and our product of Northern Ireland band this evening are the very new and very exciting Northwestern noise implosion that is Spectator. But right now it's time to return from Montreal to the northwest of Northern Ireland, our product of Northern Ireland band for the evening, introducing to you Spectator. Hello, I'm John. I'm Ivor. We're from Spectator, and this is Etiquette. We started out about a year ago now. I just came back from Scotland and wanted to start a new band. I uh, bumped into Ivor at the Evans concert and bumped into Craig the same night and uh, kind of mentioned to them that I was wanting to start stuff. Went out to Craig's garage and just kind of started messing about that way and we sort of played our first gig in August and went really well. Everybody in the audience just seems to be totally zoned in. You know, whereas you see other bands and they'll play, I think it's maybe because we're so loud as well, you can't talk. Yeah, you can't, you can't but talk. everybody's like, you'll see that part in Back to the Future whenever they're going. <laughs> Your kids are going to love it. We were doing a lot of charity shows down in Derry, and there was only like maybe two or three bands on the show, and the rest of the acts were acoustic acts. We were going like, we're just following a guy playing a harp. And I guess singing. Right. When you smile, look at me. Eyes light up, feel great. Don't you process, it's the main. Turn in the screw, stop for what's made. I'll say whenever we were starting rehearsing and starting just getting ideas and songs down. There was no real singing element in the band and uh, I heard John screaming one day. Uh, well, I think it was long before we gathered, so I got it. Jeez, you can sing. That was shouting at Craig. That's what that was. <laughs> and uh, so, so I mentioned, how about you go up and sing? And he said, I've never done my life. You hear the big, big rust and then you hear a high pitch scream or up or something like that. It's, uh, it's getting more melodic now. Dogs <laughs> love it. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of listen to all types of music, really. Mm -hmm. I think from Red Hot Chili Peppers to Rage Against the Machine. I'm a huge Fugazi fan. I think that's probably where the vocal style comes from mostly. Anything at all that kind of pushes a listener a wee bit, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love Tom Waits and all that kind of stuff. And I don't know, you could be here all day chatting about <laughs> it. Like, uh, I, I think as well that with <coughs> the actual band influences, as it's also together as a collective, we do have a sound kind of in the range of Henry Rollins. Uh, a little bit of rage, a bit of corn, uh, deaf tones as well. Jeff playing London. Andrew's my baller. Thank you. It was, it, it was funny that like starting up Arm Waver and uh, I always said to him, I was like, mad, I'm like, Jeff Play London's in my top five bands of all time. I love him. Like. It's great to have someone you can bounce uh, ideas off because he's been there, done that. He's, been, he's played 500 shows in the last three years or four years, something like that. So having that welfare experience at your back and call is excellent, you know, and it's really good when you're starting a band of this nature. But I can still be a nutty, see. <laughs> get the making yourself EP off myspace.com forward slash spectator online. You just log on to MySpace and buy all our merchandise and uh, it all future releases so we all know. <laughs> Now 
92 to 95 FM and 1341 medium across the line on BBC Radio Australia.